Now, if you were to ask me if I'd buy these Titan drawers again, my answer would be no. In fact, in a recent video, I actually highlighted these Titan drawers as one of the main things I'd change in my canopy setup. But that's not the whole story, because I wasn't just picking on these poor Titan drawers. I was saying that if I had my time again, I wouldn't have bothered putting drawers in at all. So putting that aside, what are these budget Supercenter drawers like for the money? What's up guys? In this day and age, you really are spoiled for choice when it comes to four wheel drive draw systems like these. With brands like ARB, Outback Solutions, Drifter, XTM, and a bunch more offering a wide range of quality, functionality, and affordability. It's no secret that these Titan drawers from Supercenter are the absolute cheapest by a long shot, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you should write them off. Now, full disclosure, these are the only draw system that I've actually bought. I've built a system in the past, but this is the only system I've actually paid money for, so I can't speak to the quality of those other brands, but I can tell you about my experiences with these. First up, let's talk about mounting, because that's pretty important. On the bottom of the unit, you get two mounting rails that can be adjusted forwards and backwards. Once you get them just right, there's a bunch of holes you can choose from to mount them exactly where you need. That pretty much means these drawers are adjustable enough to mount them anywhere you need them, which is particularly useful if you're mounting them in a wagon four-wheel drive, because chances are you'll want to be taking advantage of some existing mounting points. Next up might be the most important part, what are they like for storing all your camping gear? Because that's the main reason you're getting drawers in the first place. Well, they come in a range of different shapes and sizes, and mine's the 1070 model, which is pretty much as tall and as wide as they come, but it's not quite as deep as the ute models. I find this size works pretty well for me in my 1800 wide canopy because they're pretty deep but still give me plenty of room on the other side for my kitchen setup. One thing I want to mention is that with the stoppers that prevent these drawers coming out the front of the unit, there's probably about 30 centimeters or so space that's still kept underneath this top even with the drawer fully extended. Probably about, about that much space. On this fridge slide side, there is a bit of a workaround because you can leave the drawer mostly shut, open the fridge slide, you can actually access that stuff top down, but no such workaround for the other side. These latches on the front of the drawers do work pretty well and are relatively heavy duty. I have experienced a couple of problems in the past, like mine have gotten really squeaky before, and I've also seen others that have got stuck in this open position, unless you like slam them to close them. But the good news is that you can quite easily remove this panel on the inside and access a mechanism inside to lubricate it or fix it if need be. Now, as I mentioned, it does have a fridge slide, and to test the strength, I couldn't be bothered bringing my fridge over to this side, so we're gonna test it today as a person slide. <laughs> so how much do you weigh, Bianca, if it's not too, too much to ask? <laughs> let's just say somewhere between 50 and 60 kilos. Okay, to 50 to 60 kilos, let's see how the fridge slide goes with a weight like that on it. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Perfect. Slides out really easy. It's actually got a locking mechanism as well, I don't use mine for a fridge because I find it makes them too high to be useful. <laughs> Maybe you can use it for a person if you want to you know, carry an extra passenger camping. Um, but yeah, technically it has a fridge slide. If you find that useful, that's great news. It slides really easy with, with weight on it, so the bearings are, are nice and strong. It's lockable. It's a bit, the lock isn't the best, but it does function. So yeah, tick that fridge slide box. Not too much to say about these runners, to be honest. They do the job pretty well, nice and strong. They're a standard ball bearing system that this metal channel runs on top and bottom. They slide out really easy and they close super easy as well. You'll hear an extra click on mine because the, the catch brushes across this canopy lip. I kept the drawers mounted as close down as possible. Um, been holding up really well. I've had mine for close to two years now. Never had to replace a bearing, never had any issues whatsoever. Um, they also slide in really easy no matter how much weight you've got in them. So I can put pretty, almost all my weight and they still slide pretty much as easy as if they were empty. So big tick there. This next part is going to come down to your personal preference, but in my opinion for the money, the finish on these drawers is really good quality. 
you get nice heavy duty marine carpet all the way around the drawers and this good strong metal edging around the whole top of the frame. There is a few gaps like a bit of a gap here and a few others around the place that means it's not perfect but for the money it's fantastic and you can't expect it to have the finish of those expensive drawer systems. The actual strength of the unit is pretty good too and it's been holding up great over the past few years. The only real drawback with this system is they are pretty heavy. So this is the 1070 model and this weighs 70 kilos, completely empty. So depending on how careful you need to be about weight in your setup, that might be enough to be a deal breaker. So not to draw this on too long, that brings us to the end of this Titan draw system review. If you guys have any other questions about this draw system, feel free to chuck them down in the comments below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.